Hey, Phil from Got Memories. Okay, and this video is all about quality control as my videos are always centered around quality control of making sure players, tapes, everything is working correctly. Now, not only customers trying to figure out what's wrong with their tapes, but also the equipment because these tapes are... All oh, the crap is rubbing off onto the heads. It's constantly dirty. Now, this video is all about audio. Okay, listen to this. This is all the way up, and it's muffled, as you can hear. Look, it's at max. Whoop. Max here. And if I do the shortcut here with an Elgato, which, you know, trolls galore, there's many ways to do this, but if you're doing this as a business, many options, but it's all about efficiency and what customers are willing to pay. It's all economics driven. So the main goal is clear picture and audio from beginning to end. So with that, that said, you could hear the audio on there muffled, okay? Like, is it the tape, is it the player? Audio was something that's m overlooked tremendously. Of all the transfers I see from transfer companies, even if they got clear picture, the audio levels are really low. In the Listen no to that. Nevada, they're certainly on a high right now, and they're playing outstanding basketball. They come in at 16 and five, the most wins they've had, I think, at this school since 1972. So let's just go back over to this other one. So the audio heads on this player are clogged, it needs to be pulled. It needs to either be thrown in the trash or cleaned, more than likely cleaned. Okay, so this is why I'm always... So it's not all about, you know, it's about making sure the tracking, you know, like it's not looking like that, which is what the majority of companies are giving back to people is crap like that. But, you know, of course, the obvious, but people go, they're doing that, right? No, they're not. But for high, for quality driven transfer companies in 2025 and beyond, this, these, this media is all deteriorating or has problems. So are the players. So it's up to the operator to be checking the equipment, not blaming the customer's media, which is the easy cop out. Yes, there are problems with media. There's all that kind of stuff. But that is why you're paid what you're paid about to make sure of He's only a this is all yeah. done correctly. So you don't have to do this over and over and over again. And this is why you need to see YouTube videos showing the inner workings with a competent live human being, not a McDonald's worker that is now transferring videotapes, which is the absolute norm in this industry. You think you're gonna get quality work done for 10, 20 bucks a tape? Forget it. These tapes are 30, 40 or more years old. They run, you know, up to six hours. You think for three bucks an hour per finished hour in real time is going to do a good quality job? Oh my God, forget it. If you're not willing to pay what it costs to get these things done correctly, you know, you're going to end up with mess, unfortunately, which is what I have to deal with constantly is redoing work that shouldn't had to have been redone if the person had done the homework and realized what's involved in all this old stuff. Um, so anyway, audio, audio, audio is important as video. Um, and the audio heads are constantly getting clogged by the tape binder, it's, you know, deteriorating magnetic oxide particles are just clogging the video and the audio heads so they're constantly needed to be cleaned and maintained. So this industry is not maintaining the players. It's quick for them to slap a sticker on it and say, due to the age or condition of your media, sorry, we can't get anything worth a damn off of it. Instead, servicing their players. So anyway, that's uh, the moral of the story here. Audio, VHS, camcorder tape, audio, all that kind of stuff. If you'd like to get a quote from me, gotmemories.com. I do require photographs of the media out of the cases. I need to know where they've been stored, for how long stored in those locations, if they've been played from beginning to end recently. So I'm aware of any issues. Most people aren't aware of the issues because they haven't played them in 20, 30, 40 years or ever. So that is why you need to get your VCR out, maybe your camcorder out, dust it all off and see what the heck's going on because these companies prey on the fact that you have not ran your tapes in many years. And when you get them back, you just go, oh, I guess they've gone bad. 
for the few people that have got VCRs and camcorders and they run them through them and they go, bullshit, this has clear picture and audio. And then good luck getting a refund. Call that 1-800 number and hit one and then two and then please hold and then you hung up on. Anything with an 800 number, run a mile with any business, period. We know 800 numbers are trouble. So... Yeah, you do not want the only copy of your precious, priceless home movies in complete limbo in the hands of incompetent, mass-produced, mass-warehoused, you know, kind of places. You need to go small, and if you're going small, you need to know that they're doing the work correctly. And they're going to be like, yeah, we, yeah, we do, yeah, we do. No, Google Maps for reviews, a minimum these days of 100 Reviews with a 5.0 or thereabouts tells you the standard of work being done. Um, that's it. If, wherever you are in the world, do your homework. If there's somebody local to you that's knocking it out of the park and they go, yeah, I fix everything. I clean my own equipment. I fix my equipment. I pay the money to get things repaired. Okay, you know, give them a shot. Um, if you'd like this knocked out of the park by someone that's been doing this for decades, gotmemories.com. Uh, if you're shopping around for cheap prices, that's not me. Um, I'm reasonable, but I do not compete with all of this just just churn and burn garbage crap out there. No. So um, anyway, that's me. Cheers. Bye.